with question number three, topic one, paper two, measurements and uncertainty. Now the question says, we have a student, he did an investigation by folding papers into cylinders of different height. They have the same diameter, but different height. And then he applied a weight or a fixed load on each one of them to record the height at which the first cylinder will collapse. Then he repeated the same process with cylinders of different diameter. After that, he draw a relationship between the height of the cylinder cube versus the diameter of the cylinder square in, uh, in meter it was his measurement. He got a straight line that passes from the origin. As you notice, we don't have error bars in the horizontal direction because all of the cylinders have fixed diameter, but different height. So he has uncertainty in, in H in the height. Now the question says, Theory predicts that height equals constant times the diameter to the power 2 over 3. Suggest why the student's data supports that theoretical prediction. As you notice here, we have a relationship in the diagram between h cube versus d square. And I have a straight line that passes through, through the origin 0. That means I have a relationship between the height of the cylinder cube directly proportional with the diameter of the cylinder square. So this formula is correct. Then determine the value of C, determine the value of this constant C. Let's go back to the graph. First, to find the value of C. From last video, we said, how can we find the value of each square here? We see the difference divided by the number of squares. So the difference between 5 and 0 is 5. And I have 10 squares between 5 and 0. So each square will represent 0.5. Each one will represent 0.5. How about in vertical direction? The difference between 10 and 0 is 10. And I have 5 squares between 10 and 0. So each square will give me a value of 2. That means I have here 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Now I need to find the value of C. Look at the equation. I have H equal c times d to the power 2 over 3. So let's write this equation here. Let's write it here on the top. h equals c d to the power 2 over 3. And I have a relationship between h cube so I can cube both sides. If I cube both sides, I should get H cube. I'm going to cube both sides. Cube both sides of the equation to get H cube. So H cube will equal C cube. Cube will cancel with, with uh, the three down here. D to the power two. H cube will represent. It's, it's on the vertical axis. Why? This one, it's drawn on the x-axis, so C cube will represent the slope. So I have to find the slope first. To find the slope, I can take this triangle here, start from here and this one here. Now the coordinate for this one, this is half a square, and we know here full square will give me 0.5, so half a square is 0.25. So this value will be 20.25. How about this value here? It's again, it's a half a square. This one, half a square. And I know full square is one. So this value here 
it's 61. So change in y divided by change in x or rise over run will give me the slope. So this is the slope or c cube will equal 61 minus 0 divided by 20.25. And if we did this one on the calculator, we should get three. This is C cube. I need C. I need C. So I'm going to take one over three for both sides to get rid of the cube. So I'll have C will equal three to the power one over three. And this will give me 1.54. Okay. What will be the unit of, C, of the slope? What will be the unit of the slope? Let's do it down here. So state an op appropriate unit for C. Now we know the equation. It's H Q equals C cube times d squared, and we know c cube will be h to the power 3 divided by d squared. Now, what is the unit for h? It's meter, so meter cube. What is the unit for diameter? It's meter squared. I need c, so I'm going to take 1 over 3 for both sides. Okay, 1 over 3. Meter cube divided by meter square is meter to the power one over three. So this is the unit of the constant. See, it's meter per of uh, per uh, meter to the power one over three. That's it. See you in the next.